Boston Harbor Island Discovery Camps are week-long immersive experiences to get Boston City youth out to their harbor islands. One of the earliest goals of the Boston Harbor Islands National Park area was to have the islands and the harbor be owned by every child in the city, and I would say every child in the region. The Boston Harbor Islands Discovery Camp is a fantastic partnership between the YMCA of Greater Boston and the Boston Harbor Islands. And our goal is really to get young people from the city out to public lands, out in national parks, in a really extensive week-long program. Over the course of five days, we're getting young people out to their islands and experiencing them in ways that few people get to do. On day one, when we visit campers at their club, we ask them to think about three things that they're responsible for during their island adventures. On day two, we meet campers downtown in front of Long Wharf and head out to George's Island. Every camper has a ranger and has a high school intern that they are gonna be working with over the course of the week. They've met all of these people before and on day two is when they really begin to start to build these relationships that'll last the rest of the week. Just stepping on a boat is just pure excitement. Hello, welcome to the water. Hello. Hey, on the other side, you pass away. Every time we'd be about five minutes away from the island, I would point to it and I'd step back and tell the kids get ready and then I'd scream, land ho! And then they would repeat, land ho! Land ho! Land ho! On George's Island specifically, the, uh, the dark tunnel that we go through, um, a lot of our children, uh, you know, their children, they're afraid of the dark, uh, but it also gives um, other children an opportunity to become leaders and step up to the challenge and say, come on, like, you got this. Okay. They love games, and there were a couple of games on George's Island, rolling the hula hoop or the stick and just slapping it and racing with it. It was very, like, a physical activity. Uh, usually the kids are used to sitting back, watching TV, uh, playing their consoles, and just to be able to go outside in the fresh air and, you know, explore life, it's just a new experience, especially if you're from the city. Through these rooms are the areas where the soldiers ate and worked. On day three, we arrived at Pettix Island. Alright, we're gonna work together as a team. We're gonna build this tent. We're all gonna participate. We're all gonna help each other out. And then we can party in our tent. My best memory was when we were building tents at Pedix Island. It was really fun and it taught us a lot of teamwork skills. And it felt very rewarding after we finished. There was specifically one child. Um, he he was so wild about the tents that after they built it, he was just running around in each tent. He was just happy for himself to build his tent. He was happy for everybody to build their own tent. And he just couldn't control himself. He's just never been around a tent. Are we have, in the tent? Are we have, no, no, no! Can we, can we, what do you guys think? Yeah, those, yeah, yeah. This one yeah. 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 It's not a big, it's a big grass hole. It is a big on Pettix Island, campers are asked to think about three things that they can do for themselves to feel comfortable and be prepared in an outdoor setting. On day four, we head to our last island, meeting at Long Wharf once again and heading out to Spectacle Island. Just Carly had a photo of a train. They barked so much in here, they didn't move it by train. Oh wow, these have words on it. 
one of the activities that we did at the end of the week out on Spectacle Island, where we asked the kids to write letters to somebody who they thought would really benefit from the Boston High Islands and the national parks. Not only did it expand the outreach and possibly spark interest in the community to access Boston Harbor Islands, but it also forced the kids to really reflect back on what they thought was the most memorable or impactful part of the program. There was a few of them in this group that had gone to school together. So they invited another camper into the group and each of them shared what their favorite moment was. And the camper that they invited into the group was one that they really didn't talk to. And it was nice to see the inclusion of everybody. To see the 12-year-old take in the 9-year-old and the 10-year-old to really speak to the 11-year-old was something that was so empowering because at any other point in camp, that interaction probably never would have happened. On the last day, we return back to their club and campers are given art materials to reflect on their own and for themselves. What was the highlight of their week on the islands? and what would they most like to go back to? And these images display a variety of different opportunities and activities that they've participated in over the week. That looks so cool. That's really good. Did you put your name on the back? Make sure you put your name on the back because you're gonna get to keep it. We are trying to create generations of people who care and generations of people who feel a sense of ownership and commitment and a willingness to learn from and to give back to this incredible space. It's important for kids to get out to the park because it's theirs and they own it. Kids that participate in this program really grew confidence because they were able to do something brand new that was unknown alongside a lot of their friends. And that really translates over to a lot of other aspects of their life. With kids, personally, I believe they're our future. Um, if, if I build a strong individual, I feel he is gonna grow up and be very successful. Whether I affect two out of 100, I'm very happy for myself that I affected at least two people who can continue in life with a positive attitude, can reflect on their, their past and say they had a great time and they've learned from their experiences. We don't always look at our history as something to recognize and reflect upon before moving forward. And yet the history in Boston and at the Harbor Islands is so rich and complex that there are so many lessons to be drawn from to help lift everyone up as we move into the next century. Yeah!